Take the stress out of payroll. Let the employees do it. Paycom saved HR and accounting teams over. may not be as bad as you think it is. Um, welcome back to Prophetic Diary. If this is your first time joining us, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Last night when I was sleeping, God gave me Philippians 8, 4 and 8. Totally forgot about it. Then one of my friends called me this evening. She's like, you know, I'm just going to think about things and, the, the, and you know, in a more positive. And I was like, what? Oh, my goodness. God gave me that word for PD. Totally forgot about it. But here I'm back because he's so good. Philippians 4, 8 reads, Finally, brother, whoever, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. <sighs> what a day, what a day. God speaks so much through so many people throughout the day, but one of my good friends, um, um, I was speaking with him today, and one of the things he said is, I think he said, especially with women, he says, sometimes you ladies can just make things up in your head and think things that are not as though, the things that they are as though they are not. And um, it also made me think of the scripture, right? And he's like, when a guy, when a male tells you that he loves you, tell you that he want to be with you, and he's showing you that he's serious with his actions, he said, all the little stuff doesn't matter. He said, don't let your traumas get in the way of hearing and, and what this man is truly saying. He said, men use action words. When He said, when men start saying things like, I don't want to disappoint you. I, I don't want to hurt you. I just want to love you. He said, those are words where he's planning to put things in action and also for the long haul. And so it, go co it go coincides with what God gave me to give you guys. And he says, I want you to think positive about it. I don't want you to think, and not we're not going to get into romanticized, romanticized things, right? That's not what he was saying, and that's not what I'm saying is either. But what God is trying to say is that if I said it, I'm going to do it. So just know that if you haven't gotten the call or the text message, that I'm working on something behind the scenes, that if this man is showing you with his actions that he's true, then you don't have to do the things like you used to do, go through his phone or worry about things, or when you guys are out watching other women and being insecure. You don't have to do those things. And maybe they haven't come back yet, but when they do, and he's like, God is saying, think on those things that are honest and those things that are just. Like, think about it, like putting yourself in other people's shoes and things like just, like, how would I feel if that happened to me? And things that are lovely. And, you know, when I see him, I'm going to give him a hug, not ask him a million questions about us, right? Think on those things that are of good report. Tell him some good things, not, oh, you didn't call me, right? Philippians 4 8 is what God wants to apply in our relationships and in our conversations and our communication with our spouses. So, sorry for that little remind me of this word. Hope that it bless you. You feel led to sow, to, sow into it. Hashtag, hashtag, I'm excited. Hashtag, the work is being done in me. Hashtag, the Lord is changing my mind and renewing it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is doing some work here, PD. Is he not? I love you, family. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Perfect. <clears throat>